What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and I know, I know, we are very late for what we normally do when building new heroes, but there were a lot of what I felt like more important things to talk about. We had the event reviews for Black Friday, we had the new game modes, we have the preview of Transcendence Aspen, so I wanted to make sure you guys got all those. I know by the time this comes out, it's probably Sunday, even though I'm recording it on Saturday, but uh... Yeah, we're finally going to build Natasha. We have some PvE modes to test her in. We have a, plenty of places we can test her in. So let's try out the new system as well. We have all the copies. Um, I already made the food this way, but let's see if I can not mess this up and get this done properly here as well. So we're going to make her directly to a 10 star. I think I had all the food ready to go as well. I think. Yep, I got the th three the puppets. We have tons of nine stars. All right, so we already got the 10 star. Bam, good to go. Now we gotta come in here and we gotta level you up. So uh, we'll wait to do that. Let's finish enabling you because we literally have everything we need. Every single thing. All right, so tons of puppets from this event and past events that we've been doing. <sighs> tons of 10 stars. <laughs> we've, we've got a lot of food here. We got plenty of food for what we wanna do. We're gonna V4 her, we're gonna see if she can do anything, now honestly, first impressions by her skills, I don't think she's going to do much, but we are going to go over her as a hero and talk about what she could possibly be good at as well. So, uh, for the time being, I'm just going to put her with her uh, the typical offensive setup that we use. We're going to get a stone going here. We, of course, need to level her all the way to 350. We may need to get a little bit of gold. I think we're a little short on the gold, but we'll see. So what do we start with? Like 335 million. Let's see if an SS3 stone takes more. I know I got infographics somewhere. I just don't know where they are. <laughs> so we'll see. Let's see what it takes. We have plenty of dust because it only takes about 250,000, I believe, for each soul stone three stone. So not too bad. Yes, we want to keep upgrading. This is where it's going to start climbing in price and just taking chunks and chunks of our saved gold away. All right, that's fine. Keep on going. Keep on going. I think we want to find like an attack, attack, holy damage style stone. If we can find like a speed one as well, that would be great. Ooh, this is where this, oh, attack, attack, precision is not bad. HP, HP, definitely not good. So yeah, about 300 million to fully max it out. Now that stone, I don't like whatsoever. So let's do some conversions here. Find something more attack oriented. You know, crit, crit attack might be a good one. Although her ability does let her maybe have a max crit. I don't think I'm gonna waste another stone. Let's start with the crit crit attack. Now she is an assassin. So we do need to find some assassin gear. Do we have some laying around here. Uh, I'm not going to take it off Drake because Drake's has already rolled for him. We'll just take this set off right here. And let's go on over to Natasha. Equip it. Give her a crown as well. Let's see. Who has all of our crowns on this account? Drake's got one. Andrea, you don't really need that crown right now. You can have that. We have tons of new artifacts because of this event giving us so many. We got her kind of defensively built. Let's get her up to V4 and then take a look at her skill. So who are we going to regress imprints on? Could do it on Valentino, although I kind of want to keep it on Valentino for the time being for a potential Void Vortex push, but we could always put it back. And right now I'm not really using him that much, so... Yeah, give, give me all that stuff back. We're actually getting really close to another V4 hero on this account, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. As soon as we can do that, that's going to help us a ton in Void Arc to get more points. That'll definitely keep us in the top 100, so long as I don't mess anything up. But hey, it, it, it's me. Chances are I'll probably mess things up. Now, I think what we need to do, though, is I wanted to build another Gustin, but I think that's going to be put on the back burner for the time being because we need... We need more 10 star puppets to make our next V4 hero because honestly we have tons of cores of transcendence right now and we might actually have enough because we have 3.4 million left over. We just got to get up to uh, 5 million roughly. So she's set up. Let's take a look at her skills. Now her enchanted crystal is kind of disappointing because assassins without damage reduction 
Oh, are they squishy. HP, attack, crit damage, control immunity, speed, all pretty good. I mean, her crit damage is definitely through the roof when we have a crit stone on her as well. Her crystal shock ability is the basic attack that makes your targets the lowest HP target. So only one target feels bad. This attack is sure to crit. So I guess that's 100% crit chance. Natasha herself gains two layers of crystal recharge. So you know what? I think we're going to convert this into some sort of attack stone. I think that's going to be... Oh, you know what? We literally, literally high rolled what I wanted. Because her basic has a guaranteed chance to crit from the sounds of it. We'll have to test it out to make sure it actually does and do some 1v1 combats here. But we're going to take a look at our skills and everything. Earth Vein Extraction is a passive. Whenever an enemy dies, Natasha restores self HP equal to 25% of max HP, increasing her attack by 25% for four rounds, getting two layers of crystal. So basic attack gives her two layers of crystal. Enemy dying gives crystals. Interesting. So her active ability is a long one. Literally, you have to scroll. Active ability deals 1,000% of attack damage to one enemy with the lowest HP and additionally bleeds them by 800% of attack for two rounds. Again, first layer of application of bleed hits initially. So at the end of the first round, it should be gone. We will test that. If Natasha has crystal recharge, when they release the skills, her active is modified. One layer, the skill will target two enemies with lowest HP. That is pretty cool. Two layers, you steal 20% of the attack from the target for three rounds before they attack. That's maybe good in pvp in pve at least the newest game modes the enemies have very low attack value so that is not going to steal much at all three layers increases the crit rate of this skill by 100 so if you get three layers you will essentially be able to guarantee crit just like the basic four layers converts 90 percent of damage dealt by the attack to her hp the heal i mean it's okay five layers which i feel like you're never going to get to reduces the target's armor by 100 percent for three rounds before the attack after releasing the active skill clears all layers oh okay i get this so only when she uses her five layers does it completely remove the entire stack of crystal recharge or at least five layers so even if you have six it'll go down to five so that's interesting uh, essentially she's going to be a build-up character where like the first or the first active is probably somewhere around two to four layers that she gets so she'll get like you know the attack steal and then it slowly builds up to layers five so that's very interesting i want to test her out in a 1v1 scenario so let me go set up my shadow meme team and have a good 1v1 setup so we can watch how her skills work so first up what we're going to do is we're going to jump into combat we're only going to be using one hero and that is Natasha to see how her abilities break down. Now, we are going to go up against an Eloise at V4. I don't know if it's the best one to go up against, but we'll see here. We're going to watch it at one time speed. Um, I don't have a crown on that Eloise either. I might need to put her up against the Householder. But So this right here is her first active right there that has the bonuses for the attack. Now, she's not really ever going to get to that five layers. I'm trying to see where we see the layers. Is there any indication? It doesn't look like there's any indication whatsoever about how many layers she has for her skill effect. Unless I'm completely missing it here. Is there anything indicating? Maybe it's the lightning around her says, yeah, she, she gets like this lightning aura around her face. I'm guessing that indicates she has layers, but it doesn't really show how many. There's no indicators anywhere. You see that she stole some attack from the Eloise with the layers too active. So she does have a heal as well. The question is, okay, he, does the heal go through death? Like if she kills her with this attack, does it work? She still gets the heal even if she kills the target. So that's good. Next thing I want to see is her bleed effect. So her bleed on her active, I want to see if it just lasts the one round that she uses it. So active ability incoming. There's the bleed. It ticks initially. It ticks end of round. Oh, no. Okay. It does stay an extra one. That's interesting. So does it not apply immediately? I want to watch this. Very, I wish I could slow it down even more than this. Okay. Got to really pay attention to this active ability right here. So active ability. Watch the damage numbers. Here we go. Active damage right here. We got 9 million, 5 million. Then end of round is another 5 million. Interesting. The bleed dot is still there. 
So maybe technically he gets three layers of application. I wonder if that's something new. I haven't watched the pet, the monster in a while to see how long the dot lasts. Is that something that's changed? We'll have to actually look at it. So as far as just like abilities go, um, they're okay. Granted, that wasn't a super powerful Eloise. It was V4. 1v1 Eloise usually doesn't do the best anyway. I don't know. Her abilities seem decent. We'll have to take a look. We'll jump into like a full PvP meta next to see how she actually performs in PvP. Today is most likely going to be all about Natasha. We're going to do a PvP video. We're going to do a PvE video like Broken Spaces. See what she can do with like Antlers Cane and going really crazy with perfect energy feed setups. See if it works at all. I don't know. We'll have to see. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Natasha is here. This assassin. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. See you guys next time. Thank you.